Hello YouTube, it's time for episode 24 of Let's Play Hattrick with Inter Calvajau in San Marino. So uh, it's been a while since the last video and uh, I wanted to start this video out by doing uh, the usual youth poll live on, uh, on uh, the video so to say, but we can't do that since uh, I had some technical issues uh, with the first recording and uh, yeah, we, uh, we called up a player and we fired him instantly. We were a little intrigued by his uh, his uh, last name, Sanotti, which uh, um, is because we already have a few players called Sanotti, a few good players in the youth team. And uh, looking at Sanotti at this point, he's uh, he's done with his playmaking training. He's solid in uh, defending and um, yeah, almost uh, there basically with his skills. 67 days to go, looking pretty good in that regard. Virgilio Camellini is the guy who wants to, we want to support him with in the, in the main team once he's ready for a promotion as well. And he's getting along the way in playmaking. 6 out of 7 and uh, 5 out of five, 5 defending. We will be looking to finish Sonati and then being able to focus more training on Camellini in the future. But more than a season to go on Camellini, it's looking pretty good there. Last time, well, the last time we trained anyway, it was last uh, Friday, and we had last week's suspected pop to world class happen for Mignarelli. He was injured in the last week, so now he's at least world class winger, and uh, Ricky Kick has popped to outstanding winger. And let's just have a look at the transfer compares with these players right now. So 18 years and 72 days for Mignarelli. And the transfer compares quite good actually 30 million danish krona and that's like 3 million euros so it's beginning to look quite solid for Mignarelli there let's just go back and check out ricky kick as well he's in a secondary training position and um, yeah you see the difference he's uh, worth one tenth of uh, Mignarelli given the fact that Minarelli is quite high on his transfer compare, but around 300,000 euros for Ricky Kick. All right, so let's have a look at the league after round one. We are down to sixth in the league, and we lost against all the Kimi Curry. Let's have a look at the match. We lost two goals to nothing. We didn't have any injuries. That's still a primary target for the team at this point. But looking at the ratings, let's just have the little ratings here like that. We couldn't quite match the defensive ratings of uh, or, uh, Kimikuri here, and well, they played on a 5 3 2, and they actually set up uh, the defenders uh, towards uh, the back slots as well. So we were, they, they knew our tactics, and uh, we had to pay the price for that. Looking at the star ratings, though, Tully and Minarelli at 5 stars and 5.5 stars each. All right, um, back to the leak. We have a new contender and uh, we have a new favorite for the promotion spot this season. It's Hüpfende uh, im Exil and I think it's the German manager. Let's just see Mana Master here. Yeah, German manager. And well, we will have a hard time competing with these guys because the team total GSI is 1 million. Let's just have a look at the match they played. They, they won five goals to nothing away against the, the Eurovision team. And um, oh, let's just see here. They will be a tough nut to crack, that is for sure. My expectation is they will win all 14 games this season. Let's just have a look at the wingers at this point in time. Delio Minarelli at world class, of course. Coming up close to him now is Jensen Odom. He's halfway there, around halfway there in uh, winger. Magnificent as well. Mercado, magnificent. And Tolly, magnificent. Then we had uh, like... Pagnoni has been playing at the back slot in the league games and he's actually outstanding now. We won't talk much about him. Kill Danielson is outstanding along with Ricky Kick. So I think we'll have to look at impro improving perhaps at the secondary slots at some point. But um, for now, we'll just continue training those two guys. In the cup, we played against Lokomotiv du Sicilia and um, we didn't we didn't stand a chance in that match um, yeah completely outmatched in all sectors of the field and uh, we will have to see if we can do well in the in the Copa Sesta instead we'll be playing a bot team in the first team but I can I can tell that we have a human team on uh, looking 
at us um, in the next tie should we win this match. I definitely think we will. Talking about Paul Erik Steinecke, who made a cameo appearance uh, in the last episode, we were excited to see how his transfers would be. And uh, he originally sold for more than 10 million euros, but it was um, was adjusted by the GMs and fair play to them. We have a, a buff incoming for the other keeper specs as well. Um, and it's hard to factor in that in, in Denmark, we have a certain love for unpredictable keepers. And yeah, I think 70 million, I was expecting uh, the adjustment myself. Um, and I did report my own transfer. So uh, uh, yeah. I expected it and uh, 70 million is or 7 million euros is uh, a nice take on a on a youth player i'm not complaining still even though i would have loved to have uh, kept all 100 million danish corner the 10 million euros for sure but um still quite a steal and we'll be following this guy and see how he does um he's certainly looking looking solid already i can tell that his form has uh has decreased since his since the last week but uh, he's already gained half a star in his keeper ability uh, or his performance anyway so that'll be fun to see so next uh, week we are up against titani fc probably the second strongest team and uh, the second team in in the Coppa titano all of the other remaining teams did fall off into the Coppa sesta so probably a, a tough match but we will do our best to to beat those guys I'll see you soon and uh, I can see a lot of people still watching even though it's been a while since I posted the last video. I'm very happy about that fact. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.